Hi everyone, welcome to Sue's Day. I'm Sue Andrew Farron of the Novel RV. I'm coming to you once again from one of my favorite campgrounds on Lake of the Pines in Texas. I'm leaving here in another two days and I'll be heading north. But this isn't about campgrounds. This is about traveling with cats. A few days ago, somebody asked in one of the RV um, uh, groups whether or not it was doable. Can you travel with a cat and do it comfortably? Yes. I have been traveling with Moxie um, almost four years. Moxie is a little black cat with a great personality. Um, she loves cuddling and belly rubs and company coming to the van. She does not like it when the van moves, though. She also doesn't like thunderstorms. But she does okay. What she does love is when we sit still for a few days in a campground. Oh my God. When we stop, when we stop in a campground, she is immediately at the window checking out where are we? What is there to see? Are there people around? Kids, dogs? birds, squirrels. I mean, she, she just is on the job. Uh, so she doesn't like the driving, but she loves the camping. She also likes coming outside in her carrier. Um, I tried to leash train her and she would have a meltdown. So uh, I tried several times and every time she had a meltdown, it was just so sad to see, so I don't try anymore. But I bring her outside in her carrier, which is a large carrier that expands uh, to about, uh, you know, double its size or more with uh, a screen so that she can uh, be outside without being loose. She has gotten away a few times, but she always comes back to the van. She knows the man is home. She knows I'm mom. Um, but, you know, she's... Okay, the downside is that if you're traveling with a cat, and this goes for dogs too, you have to make sure that they're comfortable when it's hot out. Like today, it was very warm earlier in the day. I didn't come out, neither did she, and we had the AC running. But if you're running errands or going to lunch or visiting a museum and it's hot out, you can't just leave your uh, animal in the van unless you have some sort of special electrical system that allows you to run uh, AC. Um, another thing is you will be cleaning a lot. I have to vacuum every couple of days and every time I do, I bring up balls and balls of cat hair and one of the biggest catch-alls is the area behind the toilet believe it or not wow that is a big catch-all for black cat hair it's not my hair my hair is not black um, so that's kind of a downside cat litter tracked all over the place is also a downside but <laughs> I have actually found it in my hair in the morning because Moxie likes to hop up on me and get on top of my pillow and look out the window. Um, yeah, I wash cat litter out of my hair quite regularly. Um, but, you know, you get a vacuum, you vacuum every few days, you sweep, you make sure the litter box is clean. Uh, I store mine in the footwell of uh, the passenger side since I travel alone. Um, well, I travel with Moxie, but there's nobody sitting in the passenger side. Um, so it is, it is, it is fairly easy once they get used to it. Um, on the thread where somebody asked if it was doable, somebody else chimed in and said they thought it was very cruel to travel in an RV with a cat. I beg to differ. Moxie's not under any duress, except when we're moving, and even then, she has found a, a little cubby hole that she likes and considers it her safe place. And she goes right there and sleeps while I drive. 
uh, she comes out when we stop. Sometimes she's still sleeping. I mean, sometimes I, I'll stop for a while and she's snoozing away in there. Um, but you know, once they get used to it and find their, their rhythm, they do great. Cause in the long run, they want to be with you. They, you know, they want to be with mom or dad. They want to be with their family. And uh, if it's a friendly cat, especially. Uh, so anyway, I, if you're thinking about traveling with an animal, remember that it's going to be a lot more work to keep the van clean. Um, I never had to clean as often when I was just, it was just me and no animal. And you're going to have to always take into consideration the temperature inside your RV when you stop for things like groceries and lunch or to do laundry. You always have to think about their welfare. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next Tuesday.